Good day. Are you ready for today's class today? Remember, we are still comparing fractions. I am so excited. The last class, I told you that we are comparing like fraction where I said that like fractions are those fractions that has their denominators as the same. Now, did you ever think that you would have a flat fraction where the denominators will be different? Good. We are going to be learning such fraction today and the fraction is what? For like fractions. Good. Look what I have here. I have two beautiful circles. These two beautiful circles are divided into different parts. Now I'm going to place my beautiful circle on the bird. Beautiful. And I'll place my circle on the bird. Wow. These two beautiful circles are divided into different parts. Can we count this circle? Can we count how many parts is divided? Now let's count. One, two, three, four, five. I divided this circle into how many parts? Five. And I shaded how many? One part. What this means is that this circle is what? One over five fraction. Now, can we count the next circle together? Let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This circle is divided into how many parts? Seven. And I shaded how many parts? One. What this means is that this circle is what? One over seven fraction. You remember that we are learning about what? Unlike fractions. Now look at these two fractions. Did you notice that these two fractions have their denominators as different? This is one fifth, while this is one seventh. When you are comparing unlike fractions, the fraction with the smaller denominator is the greater fraction. Look here. I have one fifth. I have one seventh. This means that one fifth. One fifth is greater than one seventh because they are what? Unlike fractions. In unlike fashion, the fraction with the smaller denominator is the greater fraction. Now, things to note when you're comparing your unlike fraction, the fraction with the smaller denominator. Is the, is the greater fraction. What if it is like fraction? When you're comparing your like fractions, the fraction with the smaller numerator is the greater fraction. So we meet in our next class where we'll be comparing equivalent fractions. Bye for now.